what's up you guys wow hi hello welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having an amazing friday my name is nicole um if you guys are wondering why i look like i didn't really try today didn't really try today um it's like 2 a.m and honestly my eyes burn so if they're red that's why thank you for watching by the way make sure to um subscribe Hit the notification bell, that way you are always notified every single time I post. And just in case, if you're not notified, I post every Friday. Every Friday. <laughs> well, I know I've been doing a lot of uh, paranormal story times on my channel, so I think it's time to switch it up. So here we are. Today we're going to be talking about, um, I don't know if it's like a conspiracy or like an unsolved mystery technically. We're going to be talking about the case of John Lang. And I actually had this one suggested to me. Um, I had heard it briefly on um, Chills, like on the top 15 thing um, a while back, but like I didn't look into it. Um, and then one of my friend's friend <laughs> um, wanted me to do a video on this and I was like, oh, who's that? And I looked it up, no, it all makes sense. So here we are. The case with John Lang, I guess, was like outing the police in Fresno. It was some sort of setup along the lines of, you know, the police would have unmarked police cars and they'd have scanners to run people's um, license plates. And if anything came up, then a marked police car would pull them over a few blocks down the road. So then it was just kind of like, oh, we just ran into you now. and. Here we are. I guess John was like kind of outing that and that apparently, according to him, pissed off the Fresno police. Um, and he started being harassed, according to him. And um, I don't know if any of this is accurate. None of this is like confirmed, like this happened. So just know guys, like as a disclaimer, like this is why I'm kind of like, I don't know if this is a theory or an unsolved mystery. And it might be kind of a mix of both after all of that i mean john started posting on facebook um different posts and he had a like he had like re recording cameras that were all over the place you know like the bougie people have um unless you're like me and you <laughs> didn't have surveillance systems um and your surveillance system was looking outside or talking to your two small side neighbors uh john paid some posts on uh, Facebook because he was he really thought that they were like on to him and I'm just trying to find these posts right now um I'm sorry if this is very like blotchy and kind of all over the place um I will link John's YouTube channel by the way um his channel is still up and so that'll be in the description there's tons of videos of like video surveillance that he uploaded a few years ago um and it's really interesting because a lot of people thought like, oh, those would definitely be taken down by now, but they're still up. Like I checked and they're definitely still up. So um, check out his channel. I'm not going to put the videos in here one for time, um, but also because there are a lot of videos. <laughs> These videos show, you know, everything from police pulling up to his house um, outside of his home, you know, just parked outside different vehicles. Um, there was a van in particular that was labeled for like a cleaning service. Uh, and there is a video that they were parked outside of the house for a while. And then it looked like they put something on the other side of the gate. From what I got from this, it was really just a bunch of like people either, um, trespassing on his property, trying to get into his house. He thought that, um, police, you know, after what he said, he, he thinks that the, the Fresno police, um, were visiting his house and they were gonna plant drugs for like a later arrest. So basically that way they would have a warrant to go there, find something that was planted and bam, they've got John Lang. So John Lang starts posting on Facebook. Um, he's got all of these concerns. He actually voiced a lot of these concerns to a reporter and cause he was trying to get the story kind of out there just to give it a little bit of buzz. And that way people would know what was going on, at least what he thought was going on. He never got a response, uh, but according to John, um, he does think that whoever he reached out to was leaking his um, m messages, I guess I'd say, uh, over to the police because apparently, according to John, 
Um, the activity got a lot worse and the harassment got worse. So he sent a post um, over to ABC 30 Action News and it says, uh, Cor Corinne, you want some news? Corrupt Fresno cops are gonna try and kill me this weekend, possibly tonight, this is no joke. Please follow up on my story regardless of what happens or what version the cops and the Fresno Fresno B come up with. I don't know what that means. Um, please check out jodymurray.com and my YouTube site. So jodymurray.com is no longer up and live. The site apparently had a bunch of like diary entries or like journal entries from John. Um, pretty much with things that he experienced, what he thought was going on and, and whatnot. So that was pretty much like his log on like what was going on. Other messages, you know, people I don't think were really taking him very seriously, which like if you think about it, like if you were in that I am moving that camera, sorry. If you were in that, um, you know, would you have believed it either? Like you never know. And there is also this one. John also wrote on January 16th of 2016, he wrote, If I turn up missing or dead tomorrow, remember this van. I think I see, I've seen a couple of guys sneak out the side door and into the building when it was parked in the, in the carport this afternoon. I've been causing the city of Fresno a lot of problems recently, which I now regret. Sign on the door said, guarantee carpet cleaning Fresno. He actually attached that on his Facebook um, with his YouTube video, with the, the footage. Um, so again, that will be in the description. So go check out all of the videos on there. But he basically posted that because he definitely like thought people were out there. There were videos um, including a car being parked outside with what he thought was an infrared camera. So then they could see if he was even home to plant the quote unquote drugs or whatever it was that they were gonna plant in the home at the time. There's a lot of really weird things that happened. John did post another thing on Facebook. It said, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up if anything happens to me in the next day or two, it will be the result of Fresno PD, my neighbor, and an employee at my job, pay less brakes and tires on Blackstone. He posted that on January 14th. So three days after this, John was found dead. He had multiple stab wounds, um, some in his, I believe it was chest uh, or abdomen and his back. And so it's really weird because then the house was set on fire. So a lot of people think that the Fresno police did have something to do with it that they had someone kill John and then set his house on fire. The strangest thing is that the coroner's report ruled this as a suicide, which doesn't make sense with how he was stabbed, but um, I mean, I don't know. I'm not really sure, you know, if anybody really knows what to make of this. Um, all of the signs definitely look incriminating, but I can't say for a fact that this is what happened. To hear that apparently his wife had been like brutally murdered it's like a couple months or a couple years before that, which is definitely unfortunate. Um, and realistically, like none of this makes sense to me. It's really strange. You have a man who discovered a secret or, you know, was having his very loud opinion about something that the police or the authorities were doing. And then he's got like video footage of people outside of his house and all these different things, but um, I did see one YouTuber kind of point something out as well as Fresno is like a, kind of a rough area. So it's like, maybe these people were there for him, um, but also maybe they were just parked outside waiting for drug deals or anything like that. For more like in-depth details, I definitely, I highly recommend that you look up the case. Had I gone super in-depth, um, this video would be a lot longer, but there's definitely a lot of strange things. Go to his channel, watch those videos, look up, you know, what's going on. But it is very unfortunate, you know, this man more than likely didn't kill himself. And I really do hope that, you know, one day justice is served, but I mean, if it is the Fresno police, I don't know. I don't know, man, like it's the police. Yeah, that about wraps it up. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys want me to cover um, any other unsolved mysteries or conspiracy theories or anything like that, I really wanna get 
full on back into the conspiracy train. Um, I miss that so much. And I think just by seeing, you know, the engagement, I think you guys enjoy that a lot more too. Um, but thank you so much for the support. Again, make sure to um, subscribe if you like my videos. Um, hit the notification bell so you are notified every single time I make a video. Uh, again, every single Friday. If you go over to the featured channels on this page, um, I need you guys to do two things if you love me. Uh, first and foremost, I do have a gaming channel. Um, I'm not super active on that yet. I'm still getting everything kind of sorted. Um, I don't have a camera to do live streams so that my face pops up in it, but I can definitely, <laughs> definitely do live streams um, on Twitch and whatnot without it. So uh, make sure to check that out. But second and definitely the most important one to me, um, you will also see another channel on there called Boncho50,000. Um, that is my friend and he does an amazing job. He streams just about daily. He's super funny, literally has the best sense of humor and is pretty much the male version of myself. Um, so make sure to go check out his channel. He's super funny. Uh, his, he streams with his friend Rick as well and they're both just hilarious. I die laughing all the time. So highly recommend that. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe his videos as well. Um, and if you do, make sure to come back and let me know if you did. He just did a giveaway on his channel. Uh, and right now the goal is to get him to 100. My goal right now is to get to 300. So can we get me to 300 subscribers, please? That would be amazing. I appreciate you guys so much. I love you so very much and you all matter. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.